Does being cool help you rule? Well, the science is settled. President Obama is hip as hell. They say keeping the interest rate low isn't the way to help our students. They say we should be doing everything we can to pay down the national debt. Well, so long as it doesn't include taxing billionaires. But their position is that students just have to make this rate increase work. Frankly, I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Barackness monster ain't buying it. That was the president slow jamming the news on Fallon. Just the most recent example of our commander in chief's coolness. Remember when he sang that Al Green song? Remember when he drained that three pointer? Not sure what that means. Remember when he reduced unemployment and cut the deficit? Oh, right, he didn't do that last one. That's okay, though, because he's cool. Just ask Rolling Stone editor in chief, Jan Wenner, even though he spells it Jan, who in a new interview asked Obama tough questions like, What other TV shows or movies or music have you been enjoying? Hard hitting! And you got up there at the Apollo Theater and nailed Al Green. What was going through your head when they asked you to do it? Did you know you were going to nail it? Oh, man. I smell Pulitzer. That's our cameraman, Bobby Pulitzer. He stinks. Been meaning to talk to him about it. Anyway, for more, let's go to our super hungry bird. <laughs> Why would you have that as a pet? <laughs> Seems to me that that's nothing more than an annoyance. Greedy, stupid, green animal thing with wings. Hey, Tom, you're a comedian. Mm, or so you claim, although I've never really have seen you perform, and I question w whether you actually do. Jimmy Kimmel said that it's very hard. Uh, he's hosting the White House Correspondents' Dinner. It's hard to um, make fun of Obama in general because he's a cool character. Doesn't that pretty much sum up the state of political comedy? They can't get to him because they think he's cool. They well, most of them don't want to. And let's mm -hmm. face it, they always say, well, he's hard to make fun of. But they, it's because they love him so much. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, he is cool. And that's what I think people on the right should should admit that he's cool. I do. And don't try to outcool him. You can't. No, you can't. You can't. Uh, the thing is, the only way you could is to have a cool candidate, but I'm not running, and neither is Kirk Cameron. <laughs> so right now, what have we got left? Ellie, welcome to the program. Just cool. Let me, let me, I, I, uh, I think part of it for me is jealousy that uh, the right has never had anybody uh, obviously like that since Alan Keyes, perhaps. Absolutely. Look, <laughs> Obama's, Obama's the iPod, the iPad that everybody wants to have, and Romney's the piece of Windows software that you kind of have to download and update like every two weeks, right? I mean, like, that's your candidate, right? Yeah. Look, I, I know the game that Romney's trying to play right now. He's trying to say, like, look, I'm not cool, I'm responsible. I tried the same thing when I was in high school. I said, look, baby, I'm not very good at athletics or have any money, but I'm really good at multiplication and scored really super high on the SAT verbal. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> but you know I'm what? turned on. But, uh, yeah. Bob, I mean, Bob, I called you Bob. I prefer Beckle. <laughs> I prefer Beckle. Right. People call me Mr. Beckle. Uh, but th to be fair, Bill, you are turned on just by about anything. Yeah, a gust of wind. <laughs> yes, exactly. Gust of wind is a nickname for a male hustler we met in Chelsea. Mm. <laughs> um, Diane, good to see you. Can coolness backfire in terms of being seen as all style and no substance? Oh That's happened to me a lot. Uh, oh, because uh, <laughs> you're so stylish. Yes. <laughs> I get it now. Um, I think only the, the no substance part is what can backfire on you, but being cool doesn't mean that you lack substance. And I think and when it comes to presidential candidates, trying to emphasize that they're cool in general, usually doesn't do them any harm. I mean, you, the classic question everybody always asks is, who would you rather have a beer with? And if you look back, it was Clinton, it was Bush, and then it was Obama in the uh -huh. last race. So, you know, saying that he's cool isn't really a great thing for Romney to be pointing out. I would just let it go, move on to other issues, and try to really nail the no substance part of it. Mm. Well, uh, speaking of substance, Bill, you're an expert on substances. Uh, do you think that the cool factor under, uh, undercuts the idea of substance? Can you have both? Yes. I think you can. Next question. Um, well, I think he, I don't even think he's that cool. I mean, the dude went to he's cool. Harvard. He, he, no, he's. he's you know cool. what it is? He's 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 even keeled. 
he uh, he's like he's that's cool. He's that a, cool. as much as everyone hates this word. He's a pragmatist, and you know he's skinny, so he wears his clothes well, even if they aren't that stylish. And Michelle Obama's gone on record saying many times that they are old clothes. He wears mom jeans. He wears mom yes. jeans. He comes he's down the stairs cool, cool on the airplane. You know what Those it is? Airplane <laughs> stairs. He comes down it's, so it's, cool. It's you know, and also I mean, being born in Kenya, that adds a whole new mystique. Here's Look, why, if, though. If, if Romney could do, if Romney could be this cool, trust me, he would, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. right. You know, like what's we were talking about Obama hitting three pointers. Like what's Romney's hobby, right? He's got to yeah. have one. I don't know if it's golf or polo or stealing in money like Scrooge McDuck, but he's got to have something that he does for fun. His <laughs> hobby is being a good father. <laughs> and what's wrong with that? You Look, know, I think why so. can't being a good father, Tom, well, be perhaps cool? It will. Is perhaps that what's it wrong will. with because America? Because it shouldn't be Look. a hobby. It should be a full-time job. I have a theory, and I've re <laughs> I, I actually was describing this on a napkin the other day to my friend. That yeah. uh, I think that being cool is like a bell curve. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, just picture this: they, when the economy is good, when things are going well, it's cool to be cool as the yeah. president. But when it's going badly, being cool isn't so important anymore because cool is aloof. It's it's uh, standoffish. Yes. You want somebody hot when the country isn't going well. So this kind of standoffish, yeah. cool president, this, it's going to turn people off. This is why I think the perfect the perfect election, <laughs> which we we won't have, would be hot, cool versus hot. Which is Obama, Allen West. You couldn't get more of a hothead mm. and more of a cool factor. And boy, would it be great! Can I, do I have time? I'm gonna. I want to show this ad. It's a tale of two leaders. The RNC put this out. Oh, so this thing happened, right? That he was on Fallon last night. Within hours, the RNC put out this ad comparing Romney's speech to Jimmy Fallon. I wonder what you think about this. Not really. Oh yeah. I see children even more successful than their parents. Some successful even beyond their wildest dreams. And others congratulating them for their achievement, not attacking them for it. Frankly, I don't buy it. Mm -hmm. There you go, uh, Diane. A juxtaposition, if you will of something good versus something evil. It's amazing how fast <laughs> these things come out. Yeah. You know, it's a 24-hour news cycle, and they are ready to go the second we all wake up and we start yeah. reporting on all of this. But again, I, I don't think that it benefits them at all to start pointing out that, you know, he's cool and Romney isn't. Just just move on look, to the real look, issue. In the, at, the, at the end of the day, and yes, I'm using that phrase here, who do you want, Richie Cunningham or Fonzie? <laughs> Fonzie just worked on motorcycles and made out with divorcees, which we know is evil. But Richie Cunningham turned out to be an okay guy and, di and directed the movie Cocoon. Are there still people yeah. who know who Richie Cunningham is? Okay. I don't really know who he is. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure where I am right now. <laughs> Fonzie also shot Osama. And I remember watching... Uh... I did not see that series. That was not... That was right after he jumped the shark. So people started tuning out. Yeah. Uh, People say it was Pinky Tuscadero that prepared the gun. There's a conspiracy about that because they never released Pinky's picture yes. after the deed was done. Yeah. Oh uh, but the worst thing about it was when Potsy posed with the body. Ugh. Not right. You know what? They should have all just sat on it after that. <laughs> yes. But, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say at the end of the day, but I will say at the beginning of the night, I was watching it, and I was like, you know what? This is pretty awesome. Obama's doing a great job. And the second thing I thought is they're going to have an ad campaign probably the next day saying that this is not that awesome. Yeah. You know? And they went so far to develop a hashtag that said not funny. Right, yeah. mm. Touche RNC. Touché. You know what you should do though? What? Romney should he should slow jam his tax returns. <laughs> That's very funny. Mm. That would be That's cool. funny. All right, we beat this into the ground. From Camille. Uh, President Cool. Tom, Greg brought up the fact that Jimmy Kimmel said he couldn't make fun of Obama because he's cool. And you said that most of them, comedians, don't want to make fun of President Obama. Can I suggest that if you don't think you can make fun of the president, you shouldn't take the White House Correspondents' Dinner gig? Mm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I guess the way that dinner works is if the president is a Republican, you're supposed to make fun of the president. And if the president is a Democrat, you're supposed to make fun of Republicans. Yeah, that's the way it works. Yeah. All right. I think originally, wasn't it supposed to be Wayne Brady? He'd be great. Too edgy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Too edgy. <laughs> Was it supposed to be Louis C.K.? Was that the other? Yeah, guy? Louis yeah. C.K. But then I heard Wayne Brady, and now it's uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, they should get Bill Maher. He's the only person that has the, that can make fun of the black people correctly. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because he dates them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. Yeah. Bill Gates is a Gates is a very strong word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be careful how you use that sorry, word. Sorry, sorry. He frequents them. <laughs> he, he dates them to leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh.
<laughs> it comes back around. Uh, I, I just realized why Tom doesn't understand the whole idea of you paying them to leave because they never leave in Tom's place. They just go. They just disappear. Yeah. You, you mean they, they go? They you mean they actually leave? You mean they don't call the police they after you have sex with them? Holy crap! I killed four hundred of them. No. They stay, they stay very still. <laughs> Oh, I hope my wife's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> I hope no women anywhere are watching. Yeah. I hope the Can cops aren't watching. <laughs> uh, Ellie, you said if Rom Romney could be this cool, he would. And I have to ask, because everyone seems to agree that the president is cool. What is so cool about it? Well, I mean, I think the easy answer is that I don't have to answer. He just is, right? I mean, if you have to define cool, you've kind of lost it. I mean, again, I'm using most of my knowledge from high school here. But right. But when you, have to, when you have to study cool, you, you don't have it. Yeah, I don't think you have to. I agree, but I just don't see anything he's done that's cool. You see him I'm slow jam the news with Fallon. Fallon is cool. Obama's line readings are incredibly not cool. You really don't find this president, like, amazingly, like, even keel, somewhat inspiring. But that's not. Well, athletic, I don't that's, that's not, not what cool. we're talking about when we say cool, I don't think. Well, what are you talking what, What's cool I'm for you, I guess, about, is the better I'm, question. I'm talking about, again, you can't really define it. There's coolness, but I just, I don't think he has it. I mean, again. It, does George Will have it, perhaps? I just. <laughs> no, God, no. Oh, because, you know, some people think that with the bow tie, he's old school cool. Yeah. Not and, me. And his definition of cool is hanging out with a couple of cats. Well, I think it's also one of those things that, like. <laughs> it's a start, Greg. It is a start. It's also one of those things that, like high school, you know, if you convince enough people to say you're cool and that rumor tends to spread, then people start believing it. And at that point, anything you do becomes perceived as cool. I spread a rumor. I actually agree with you, Andy. I thought last night, I liked the skit itself, but yeah, I thought I Fallon too. was really funny. The guy in yeah. the background was, really, background was really funny. And yep. Obama was just reading the speech the same way he would have if he thing. were on Capitol has, Hill or on the has, actual news. He has no flow. I think this is what I'm we trying to totally, say. We should totally have Romney do this, and then I have Ross come No, there Romney, you go. Romney's good... not cool either, but nobody is saying Romney is cool. But there's this myth that President Obama is cool, and quite frankly, to be perfectly honest, I think it's code for something. The Al Green thing mm. is cool. Oh, liberals? Because, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, also, President Cool doesn't raid marijuana dispensaries. True. Mm. President Cool's not against gay marriage. Mm. Well, do, do you think Bill Clinton was cool? Bill Clinton had a coolness, yeah. Okay, so if he, if Obama was like having sex with women who weren't his wife, would that be like more cool? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get your level. Right. I do like the way he slow jams closing Gitmo, though. <laughs> I think that's nice. Uh, laundry list. Uh, Diane, speaking of the RNC ad, you pointed out how amazing it is that the RNC got that ad out so quickly. As others have pointed out, I'm not the first to do this, Republicans have been much better at rapid response this year than they were in 2008 with things like this, things like the Hillary Rosen thing. I think that they learned something from 2008. Well, you know, and they obviously knew he was going to be on, so I'm sure they were prepared right. for this, but it's just funny that just a few hours later they're no, ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. I'm impressed. Yep. Uh, Greg, please put money in the at the end of the day jar. Yes. Okay. But at least I admitted I was doing it. Absolutely. Absolutely.